Welcome to the Innovator series where we share promising innovations across Australia's startup ecosystem. I am Karnika and today we welcome Alex Moss, chair and head of creative of Canaria Technologies. Canaria have developed a highly accurate biometric system to predict heat exhaustion and cognitive fatigue in the resources sector. Welcome, Alex. Hi, Karnika. Thank you for having me. Let's give our audience more insights into the biometric system. So Alex, when did you start your entrepreneurial journey and where are you now? So I technically started my entrepreneurial journey when I was 16, founding a fashion magazine in London. But my technology entrepreneurship journey started in my early 20s when I moved away from fine art and fashion and into industrial and medical device design. I met my co-founder, Dr. Robert Finian, at a NASA hackathon in 2016. We designed a proof of concept for what's now the Canaria V predictive biometrics platform for astronauts for use aboard the International Space Station. We quickly went on to beat 2,000 other applicants to win the NASA Global Best Use of Hardware Award in 2016, and then went on to commercialize our business. So we established that our beachhead market was the underground mining industry. So we moved over to Australia to get to market, refine our devices in the field with real user feedback about four years ago. And we're now on our fifth generation of hardware at the moment, currently deployed in the US and Australia. And the exciting thing about what we're building is that they're more micro computers than they are wearable devices. So there's processing on the device themselves. This means that right now we're doing heat exhaustion and cognitive fatigue prediction. But if we would discover something like asphyxiation prediction, then we can remotely automatically update all of our devices all over the world simultaneously with a new alarm. That's impressive, Alex. And now what would you say were the two key challenges in creating and communicating this product to the consumers? The two key challenges that we had in communication was firstly risk aversion, and then also the language of enterprise sales. So for enterprise sales, it's a pretty risk averse industry. It's very different to consumer. So for that, we needed to make sure that we moved away from a language that was very Silicon Valley, blue sky, high risk, high gain, to more calm and processed risk assessment views. So before we'd go into client meetings, we would make sure that we had all of our legitimate and practiced risk documentation in advance before turning up to the meeting, and then would walk our clients through what the process was and show them that we already understood what their requirements for risk were. Um, in addition to that, it's a high barrier entry to market within the resources sector. What that really means is that if you can survive the first two years, you'll probably be fine. It's just surviving the first two years and making sure that your clients understand that you're here for the long run um, and building that trust with them. Um, and those, those are the two challenges for communications we overcame. And what is that one key lesson from your journey that you would like to share with our audience of entrepreneurs? The one key lesson that I found has been to not undervalue your own skill set, especially if that's an unorthodox skill set. There's no way I could have applied psychological principles of industrial design to Canaria Technologies had I not had that background in art history and industrial design and psychology beforehand. Once you really understand where your skill sets are, you can build a better team around you to fill in the gaps. It's a bit of a pastiche, but I really do believe in the triad of hacker, hustler, hipster as a strong founding triad for all technology companies. Love it, Alex. Thanks for sharing your insights. And if you want to meet more innovators like Alex, watch the Innovator Series. See you next time.